In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can divide fractions that have variables in them. The division works like always. We will always multiply by the reciprocal. The only thing we keep in mind now is that to reduce with variables, we will need to write each exponent as a product. So let's see if we can take a look at some examples where we write each exponent as a product. Here we have a division problem, and we know that to divide these two fractions, we want to multiply by the reciprocal of the second fraction. So we have 20 over 21b to the 4th. Let's write that exponent as a product, 4b's multiplied together, times, take the reciprocal, 15b squared, or bb, over 8a. Now we can look to see if there's any reducing available. We see 20 and 8 are both divisible by 4. 20 divided by 4 is 5. 8 divided by 4 is 2. We also see 15 and 21, always one number from the numerator, one number from the denominator. They're both divisible by 3. 21 divided by 3 is 7. 15 divided by 3 is 5. We also have a couple b's in the numerator and b's in the denominator. We can divide 1b out with 1b, and 1b out with 1b. And taking a look at what we have left in the numerator, 5 times 5 is 25. In the denominator, 7 times b times b times 2 times a. 7 times 2 is 14. b times b, we'll write as b squared and an A. We end up with our final solution of 25 over 14b squared A. Let's try one more example where we divide multiplying by the reciprocal and writing the exponents as a product. Here we're taking the 15y over 7x and dividing by 21xy cubed. One thing we might notice is that 21xy cubed is not a fraction. So we'll make it a fraction by simply putting it over 1. Now we're ready to multiply by the reciprocal. The first fraction always stays the same, 15y over 7x. There's no exponents, so we don't have to expand. The reciprocal, now the 1 in the numerator, over 21xy cubed. The y is cubed, so we show there are three y's multiplied together. Now we can look to see if there's any reducing available. 15 and 21, both divisible by 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5. 21 divided by 3 is 7. We also see a y in the numerator divides out with a y in the denominator. Let's take a look at what's left. In the numerator, 5 times 1 is 5. In the denominator, we just did 5 times 1. In the denominator, we have 7x, 7xyy. Y. 7 times 7 is 49. x times x, we'll write as x squared, because 2 are multiplied together. And y times y, we'll write as y squared, because 2 are multiplied together. And we have our final solution. When we're dividing with variables, especially with the exponents. We'll still be multiplying by the reciprocal, but as we do, we'll write any exponents as products to see if there's anything we can reduce.